hair is all about seduction. I find it a lot more attractive when it's yellow or real. Not to be humble in front of hair because hair does its own thing as well. So it just must be like not always go against nature. But that's what I'm going to do. Hello, Alicia. Hi, I'm here then. Are you excited to be here today? Can't you tell? We are very good friends, so I'm really excited that you're part of this video because I love to have my friends in my videos. It makes me really happy. <laughs> we talked about a little bit about your hair, so I wanted to know, can you share a bit of where you're from, what you do, and what are your hair issues? Well, I'm half French, half American. I grew up in a very, very hot climate in West Africa. And I think moving to this very cold climate has screwed up my hair. I'm a stylist and a fashion director. My hair has always been kind of an issue. I've always had long hair, and recently I just cut it uh, pretty short. And I'm always undecided on the color, if I should be more blonde or more brunette. I always feel like a proper French girl is more of a brunette and not a blonde, so <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm betraying my, my culture and my heritage if I go too blonde. But I think sometimes with my skin tone, it maybe suits me better. Something's happened, I don't know if it's a shift in the environment or my hormones or what, but the texture of my hair has changed a lot recently. So it's always up in the chignon or, you know. Okay, let's go. Okay. Great, let's do it. Bonjour Alicia. Salut Laurent. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Really good. Let's have a look at your hair. Let's do it. No, I usually wear it up because I don't know what to do with it. I used to have hair like down the middle of my back, very wavy, curly, but now I cut it off straight because I thought, well, I can wear it down, except I don't know what to do with it. It doesn't have any of the curl that I used to have. I lost all my curl. I don't know where it's gone. The cut could be one reason. Sometimes throughout life, you know, hair can change. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like your hair would naturally go off your face. Cowlick, that seems to be mm -hmm. quite stubborn. And this we have to consider it. The cut, I'm really not in love with. It's a little like carré plongeant. Or the plunging is not really it's doing not right. much for you. It goes like that. It just brings weight. In terms of color, I like the color. You like the color? I like the color. It's very light mm -hmm. and I like the tone. I think the tone is right for your skin. I think the main thing, a good cut is a good base. It has an effect on everything else you do with your hair. So let's work on the haircut okay. and then I'll show you some uh, little tricks to, to style it. Perfect. I'm going to do a very blunt cut because with your type of hair, like slightly wavy, not super thick, I think it's best to keep all the fullness. And then, you know, the deconstructed kind of feeling will come more from styling than from actually cutting. So I'm layering a little bit here. So you see the cut is a lot more balanced now. Mm -hmm. And I think with that, I think also the texture will get more unified. It's a really light leave-in conditioner that you can spray on. So that's going to bring a little bit of definition and we're going to dry it in a very natural way. Do you usually air dry your hair? Or? It depends. I actually have that same. Yeah. That, that's really good. You know, pinching a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that, that will help lifting the curl and shaping it. I wouldn't dry it all the way. I would leave a little bit of moist in the hair and let it air, air dry. dry. I find this a lot more soothing. I'm not used to having this much volume, so I think it's something I need to get used to. The, the volume, volume is going to come down yeah. for sure, you know? But I think the cut is so much better. I feel like it's a lot more balanced. Yeah, I agree. You know, now it's a really good base to do different styles. I mean, you can obviously still tie it because you like to you like to tie it when you Yeah, I don't know it. why. I just feel so much more at ease when it's all like when it's pulled off yeah, my face. Yeah, it's just it's just off your face and it's true that it it's, it suits you, you know. Yeah. It it really suits you. But I do have... like it having the curl back. I mean, it feels much more You see, you know, your your texture is a lot more together now. Yeah. What I can show you now is the soft blow dry. 
Okay. You know, just to have a different style that would be maybe a little bit more sophisticated yeah. for when you want to go out. Most important for me is the direction that you blow dry it in. Right. So I'm going to start with the front section. Since you have the Dyson, I recommend that you don't put it on maximum heat. Shake a little bit this blow dry and you know get a little bit of natural texture back just by you know heating it a little bit and working it with my hand so it doesn't look like we just blow dry it, you know. And then I'm putting a little bit of this product that I love, very iconic French product called Brillant Diamant. It's all those oils. It's very light oils. So I prefer to put it on my hand than straight on the hair because it can get too oily as well. It has a really nice uh, orange blossom kind of smell. It's very nice. And it's a really good sheen too. Oh, it smells so good. It's nice, right? Yeah. Voila! It's fun because with you, we can flip it to the other side if we want to. And it's going to work as well. I like that. Thank you, Laurent. You're very welcome. <laughs> I like the dimension it's giving and the fringe. Well, it feels lovely. Thank you.